So I have type 1 diabetes. I was diagnosed when I was 13. I can remember the, the phrase the nurse who told me I had diabetes used was that I could still live a normal life. To me, normal meant ordinary. It, it made me think that adventures I thought I was going to have weren't open to me any longer. When I first did a marathon, if somebody had said to me that you were going to do six of these in the Sahara Desert, I would have thought they were, they were having a laugh. The Marathon de Saab is a multi-day foot race across the Sahara Desert. It's about a marathon a day for six days through the largest hot desert in the world. I do realise it, 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 it is nuts. What if I did give up? What if I couldn't complete it? And that was the thing that really kept me awake at night while I was out in the desert. Some of the sand dunes were like mountains. They were monsters. I can't remember who it was that said it to me when I was in the desert, but three words and it was, do what you can't. Do what you can. That's four words. <laughs> I was so worried about having a hypo and being pulled out of the race. Although diabetes is a serious condition that can have a big impact on your life, it needn't stop you from chasing your dreams. So you have to carry all your food, all your clothes, everything but your tent. Having spare insulin pumps, spare insulin, blood testing strips, all the extra paraphernalia you need with um, diabetes is, is extra weight that you have to carry in your bag. So I had to change my pump twice when I was in the desert and that was always a bit stressful. A year ago I was running long distances or I managed to perfect pricking my fingers while I was running. Having a continuous glucose monitor, you really can't underestimate what a revolution that is. A century ago, if your pancreas stopped working, you would die quite quickly. Now we can live as long and happy and fulfilled lives as anyone else. And that's why I ran the Marathon de Saab and that's why I want to run something else. I don't know what it will be. I can't remember her name. I can't even remember what she, what she looked like, but I can remember the way she said, you can't do this, you can't do that. And it was that word can't. And as I crossed the line, it, that word can't got swapped for can. It was like I was sticking a finger up with diabetes, really, which felt really good. <laughs>